Hello and welcome, Commander Riviera reporting for duty and welcome back to XCOM 2. I have took a little break from this and that was just in general to learn a bit of the strategy, learn a bit of um, the gameplay because I did go in blind last time and I, I got destroyed. So we are back playing on Legendary Difficulty. And as you can see, we have come back with only three soldiers from the Gate Crasher mission. And the reason for that is we accidentally popped the Commander pod while fighting the Sectoid pod. We finished off the Sectoid no problem, but then we were left with three Advent and the Commander. The Commander we hit with a grenade, and he actually was burning, and we caught him on Overwatch as he ran away. And he was left with two health. So our next turn, we flanked the three well we grenaded and flanked one of the advent flanked the other advent well sorry flanked the other two advent expecting the commander to die from the burn but he didn't he already had falco marked he hit her straight for damage yeah so she died she passed but we will salute her mm and say let's carry on life goes on so yeah we've got Dean Dimitri and I can't remember Goons Goons yes definitely Goons Goons Uzagi right so yeah we are going to head in with these three with these three subscribers and let's find out who gets what. I'm hoping for a support. Specialist, no, awesome. Some of our most deploy right, we can skip out of that. Dean is in our specialist role, which is going to be vital. Dimitri is our grenadier. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint and goons. Is our sniper. Awesome. Right, so at least we've got the three classes that I kind of wanted. I did want um, to miss out on the Ranger. Just, I think the utility that you get from these three is a lot more than the Ranger before. We also got a repeater, which is cool. Commander, to the research labs. Um... The utility you get from them three Impressive, is more than the Ranger would give you. Up until the point where Ranger gets given. Phantom. We'll just skip that. New research, we're definitely going to go for module weapons. Let's go to engineering. Build facilities. And straight away we want to do a guerrilla tactics school. I'll send word when it's up and running. You'd be surprised how big and build a flashbang. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. Right, that leaves with 40 supplies just in case we do need to recruit any soldiers. Let's just view the soldiers, see who we've got in the... Wait a minute. This is meant to be from our character pool only. But he has all our characters from the character pool. That's gay. Right, that's a subscriber. That's actually really annoyed us because I was expecting the character pool, these these soldiers, to be full. We're still seeing a steady flow of recruits. Full of our character pool. Sorry. So let's recruit our subscriber, because he'll be going as a rookie in the next mission. Let's head to the bridge. We'll skip that shit. Even if it means they have While to we prepare the for new operations, Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site supplies. Definitely go and hit that up. Of course. What's over here? 
The Avengers remote scanning capabilities Scientist, will help us search the not area now. We will get to it resources. in time. It's going to take but some time, We've got a lot of doing this is probably more important for us at the minute. Grabbing those supplies Strategic means we can get a little located. bit more bodies on the ground, maybe. Rookies, not now. Let's head over and hit up this scientist. Started off, we'll probably get a mission in the time it takes to finish. Right, so we want to go for alien biotech. I foresee a number of valuable applications. Cool, and then we want to go to the armory. And the fact that we got a repeater is awesome, because what we're going to do is we're going to put it on Dean's weapon. 5% for an instant kill. It may only be 5%, but you know, 5% is 5%. Do, 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 do. Right, let's keep going on this scientist. Commander, as the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of engineer. Awesome. Let's confirm, back. and we will head as straight in. Is, we've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to we're going to be heading in with R three, and you are getting removed because Gabriel's coming with her. Right, cool. I think we are going to put the flashbang on the specialist. Because chances are he's going to be right behind probably the rookie. No offense. But I don't want to get the grenadier close. And I do not want to get the sharpshooter close. So the rookie is going to class as our ranger for now. Because he is, he is actually going to get the ranger tag. Because we, we lost a player on the first mission, it means the next promotion will be a ranger. And the game is freezing. Cool. Let's not take damage. Keep your heads down, lads. And we should get out of this fine. What is it? Secure the transmitter. That is probably one of the better objectives we could have got. In my personal opinion, for a second mission, this is probably the best situation we could feel we could get. You know, it gives you a lot more time than the eight turns because the enemies can't really do that much damage to it. Right, all right, straight away we have a vision on one group, which is cool. We kind of see them now, but we've seen them here. So... Take point. This is your job now. To be ahead of everybody else. You know, scouting for the rest of the team. Then we'll want the sharpshooter in the back. Riz taking up the third position. And Dean in the second position. Which will give with the mobility that we want coming into this mission. 
There we go, there's that group that we were looking at. So it's a sectoid and uh, advent, which is fine. It's manageable. Rolling. Hostile forces spotted. Right, is that just two advent there? Right, we have the high ground here, so maybe it's going to be more beneficial for to actually deal with this group right now. Let's just wait until... Until Dimitri can actually take... Oh, sorry, Goons can actually take a decent shot with his sniper rifle. Because now what we want to do is we want to go on Overwatch. Overwatch and Overwatch, and then we want to hit him, hit them hard with the sniper rifle. Ninety-five percent chance. Let's do it. You did, son. You fucking did. And now he's got to run through an absolute firing squad. Turn that promotion. Oh, nice. There we go. And I want that. I don't know what it is. But I want it. I want it badly. So it's actually Sectoid and 2 Advent. Which could become problematic. But it's fine for now. Right, we're going to start making tracks towards grabbing this. I've got eyes on Advent troops. Didn't want that to happen. Come on. Park up next to this. Awesome. We just cannot get a grenade in there. Right, if we move Dimitri, he can get a decent shot in. We've got some full cover down here as well. Right, how much damage did that actually do? Did it do the six? Oh, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That did nine damage. That's awesome. What we are going to do is... We've got a 63% chance to hit this guy, so we're going to take a sniper shot from here. We missed, which is fine. Yeah, I didn't get it. But we are going to move up and grab this weaponry. Hopefully not sparking another group. Stock, that's awesome. You know, guaranteed damage is guaranteed damage. And then we're going to aid protocol Gabriel. Then we'll just overwatch here. Reanimate, awesome. Gabriel can take you out with a grenade next turn. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Oh, that 
negates the aid protocol. Fuck you! Stand right next to that blown up car. That's fine with me. Shoot the transmitter. That's even better. Right, we've got a good flankable position here. That we cannot reach. Right, hit this guy straight away. That's going to be... Our best move at this point in time keeps Gabe a little bit safe. A little bit safer. Maybe we should have moved position. Let's take up this full cover. Forty-eight percent. What kind of shot does the sniper have? Forty-five. Right, you have no shot, so it's overwatch for you. We are going to take a 45 and a 48. Ah, shit and dick. Come on. Nope. This could mean the end of Gabe. Run away, get in. Right now, that's fine. Good copy, moving on target. Objective in range. Menace one five, we've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all costs. <laughs> The sniper on the high ground is perfect for her at the minute. That's affirmative. So we'll move and reload. We kind of shoot the sniper anyway, so we may as well just hold off. Let's pull you back and maybe we should have gone for the advanced warfare center. Come get some of this fucking up, motherfucker. Right, we are fine to walk through here. We shouldn't actually burn. And then we want to kind of flank round this way. Here we go, we've got a sectoid and three advent troopers. Which, in my opinion, isn't ideal. And we are missing a lot of shots. Nice one, Gabe. Right, I think it's smarter to fall back. In, into the sniper's range. On the 
We are going to have a shot on one of them here. 47%. We can't hit him with a grenade. But that's fine. Let's see if we can kill him anyway with the shot. Drop you back so you can't see anybody. Cool. Overwatch. Overwatch. We will have you overwatch, even though nobody's probably going to walk into your line of sight. 47%. You know, I don't like to take these 50-50s. Because that happens. But, I think it was definitely worth a shot. We need to reload, though. <sighs> Three damage isn't enough. It's fine. If he wants to shoot the transmitter, I am happy with that. I'm hoping that the sectoid takes cover behind this, which is exactly what I was after. Come on, hit for four. Nope, hit for none. That's what we always hope for. Right, now this is a perfect grenade target by the looks of things. This area here. Right, let's hit a grenade. I didn't know whether I could reload and then shoot a grenade. So I decided not to reload. Four damage. Awesome. Well, it didn't really matter because he was on one health anyway. That guy's flanked now. From here you can hit the barrel, yes. Right, so we will try with Gabe to grab the kill on this guy. Awesome. No longer a threat. Out of ammo here. And I believe this is a hundred percent chance. Cool. It didn't actually take out all of his cover, which I was hoping. means this is only a 45% shot. But we've got to take it, really. Get in! Nailed him. We've got some good cover. We've taken out most of the enemies. We have no grenades. Fifty nine per cent. You know, it's definitely worth a pop. Oh, get in. That should be end of mission. Kill confirmed. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Right, so Gabe did end up getting wounded because of the guy taking up cover on the roof. But we also got a stock from it, you know. And we had a lot of people on one health there and that stock could really help. <coughs> and Gabe did actually really well. I like it. I like it a lot.
What is this? What is this? Let's get back to mission control. See if anybody gets promoted here. Right, Ranger. Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaged. Which is cool because obviously we needed the Ranger, but we need to find a way to get him back into action. ASAP. Which route are we gonna go down? I think the way that the it's going, we're gonna go for long watch. But then I think I'm gonna go into a sharpshooter. Sharp, uh, blah, 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 gunslinger territory instead of being in sniper territory. But I think in these early missions, stock's awesome. In these early missions, we are going to have to. Um, I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Excellent work, Commander. Your right, let's just get you on here for now. The globe. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team. We can start clearing out space from the facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Eleven days. We need to clear this alien debris. How long does it take if we put an engineer on it? Well, we kind of check, really. We should recruit an engineer. I'd love to. We just don't have the monies. Only eight days out. That's awesome. Have they done a patch? Did did they change something about? Because this would normally be like 34 days. Eight days out. That's awesome. Oh, he could be back for the next mission, man. Right, we don't need to do anything in here. We will... Get the prompt for the next mission. Assistance forces in the area can get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network first. This is only. Let's go for the scientist first. Your leadership will be a There's no point leaving it half done, the globe. and then we go for. <laughs> See now, the rookies would be nice, but the supplies is better. Hit up these supplies. That should give her a decent foothold. Bam, bam, bam. We've all seen this. This is no point in it. The advent offices have clearly been modified to allow for this. Right, so advanced war center. <laughs> the advanced warfare center is available to build now. Resistance communications so that we can get access to that black site. And I think we'll just go back to the geoscape. Carry on searching. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations. The aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be up to you to ensure the safety of our operatives, Commander. Right, so this is for another scientist, which I'm quite happy. Extract VM VIP from Advent City. Does that mean it's not the cell one? Which is fine. Let's hope that the VIP is with us. It doesn't say that you've got to rescue him from a van. So I'm hoping the VIP is with us, we will do this dead stealthy, find our way to the exit, get out ASAP. But yeah, that's going to be next time. Please do drop a like, comment, all that good stuff. I'm so glad that I'm bringing XCOM back. I have completed it on legendary difficulty on all the other games. So yeah, we are going to do it on this game. I did prefer when it was called Impossible. Because it always used to say to me, 
I'm possible. But, <laughs> yeah. Next time we're going to be heading off to New India. Because old India was broken. So, yeah, drop a like, comment, all that good stuff. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. My name's Jay Riviera. Stay hidden. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.